Aquarius, 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 which popping come in this place. What's going down in the life of an Aquarian for the middle or I'd say the last little few weeks of April? Hmm? Hmm? Are you guys on y'all best? I want to new everything type shit. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> you fucking deserve it. I tell you that much. Hey, boo, hey. I'm Mocha. If this is your first time to my channel, hey. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss, all right? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can better assist you guys without cussing because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that, all right? You guys, thank you to the new subscribers. Welcome to the family, y'all. We a little dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We do that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow. We love. We enlighten. We evolve. Posy vibes only over here. Returning familia, what's up, baby? What's going down in the life of an Aquarian? Y'all ducking and dodging and doing the bullshit like this. Uh, oh, my super savage scion shit. Throw that shit to the left. I'm not going to do that shit. You guys, <laughs> y'all know I'm goofy. Uh, you guys, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. You guys, I truly appreciate it. It means so much to me, guys. Um, I actually was trying to go live with y'all. Jupiter Retrograde said, Mocha, uh, fuck a you. So I decided, pfft, still gonna get these damn videos up. But just, I guess, <laughs> the live said, fuck you, bitch, not today. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much. I wanted to go live with you all particularly because y'all showed y'all ass on them views, as always. So y'all know y'all my babies, and we will be connected very soon. Whenever Jupiter decides to get up off my ass, because I don't know which which side of me pissed Jupiter off. Was it the Aries, the Pisces, <laughs> the Gemini, the Libra? I, I don't know. So, you know, I'm... I, didn't have the energy to worry about that shit. Fuck it. So this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Aquarius. It's a general, y'all. If you want a personal, that information can be found below within the description. And without further ado, let's rock. We're going to start with you guys' intuitive messages um, for the last, the end of April. We're going to say that. Okay? Let's rock. And I was trying to get y'all mid months up, but just life, my life turned into a damn reality show. I was like, are you serious? <laughs> I've just learned to laugh at the bullshit because, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's funny because I'm sitting here in this Aquarius video and I'm laughing like shit. And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all, as the bullshit comes and you in super saya mode, a lot of you guys are really learning how to work with energy. Just like, um, I don't know if you guys watch um, this guy on YouTube. He's an Aries, too. His name is Dolo the Pilot Man. Now, he has nothing to do with tarot, but he does discuss energy. And I'm a fan, my boy. If y'all shout him out, I'm a fan, my boy. So it's funny because he was talking about um, <clears throat> how to kind of like pretty much how to have that control over your energy waves and how you want how you want to send it. And so y'all are literally been in public, y'all. And when people are doing crazy shit or even if it's people who come up to me or whatever who I ain't seen in a while, I just randomly do this shit here. And then every time it never fails, they ask, go look. And I'll be like, hell yeah, I'm on my shit. This shit, this conversation and this energy, <laughs> this energy setting is going to go the way I need it to go. Because you didn't even know what the fuck I just did, right? Uh, diversion. You understand? Like, wow, that way. So it's, you guys are really, 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 I feel the energy of you guys really, really, really just in this transformative period. And really just learning how to control the, the energies that are within your realm, okay? I cannot control other people, but I can definitely control what the hell is going on in my world. I can get I can control if it's gonna get the fuck away from me or I can control if I'm gonna laugh at it and I feel like a lot of you guys are choosing to just laugh in the face of the bullshit because I got on y'all reading and for some reason even when I got the intuitive messages for some of it I was just laughing like shit and I don't even know why so I guess you guys are really in this bubbly energy and I love it all right intuitively for Aquarius I picked up balance self-love and come on life partner rapid manifestation didn't I tell y'all <laughs> a recognition of cycles adapt new business ventures come on Aquarians forgiveness attraction menstrual travel new home come on diet change health abundance medicine woman pH balance apology adapt forgiveness okay so you guys come on through come through aquarius first did y'all hear that new home uh, forgiveness uh, adapt uh, recognition of cycles rapid manifestation you understand y'all i'm so proud of you guys so if the intuitive messages did resonate with you 
I love to talk about it. Let's get it. All right. Your angel message for the month comes from Archangel Zadkiel. The message that you guys receive, y'all know my light is sucks. When I become a rich bitch, the first video I'm going to do is Aquarius. Because <laughs> I'm going to make sure my shit got together. Because y'all don't mind telling me about myself. And I don't mind listening because y'all know I'm going to laugh. I ain't a rich bitch yet. And if I respond and say, not that rich bitch yet, but I put my yet in caps. Okay? I love y'all. But you guys got teaching and learning. Archangel Zadkiel. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others, new business ventures, innovative shit. You are a creator. This is why y'all don't work well at people's jobs. Y'all be like, fuck them people. Fuck this job. I'm a go though, but I, I don't even like half of them. Okay? So when I sit in my desk and light my damn and, 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 and have my salt lamp lit and sit in my own level of just chi, peaceful chi. But won't nobody let me do it because usually y'all the boss at your job, <laughs> okay? So I feel like during this time, all right, Aquarian, a lot of you guys are finding harmony within some of the dark spaces that you kind of come out that you have come out of um, in the past. Spirit is bestowing peace into your life, all right? And for some of you all, the peace is coming uncomfortably for some of y'all because some of y'all it's having to do with detaching uh, from friendships, detaching from situationships, uh, relationships. It's having to do with detaching. Some of y'all are leaving jobs that are completely toxic, okay? But for some of you all, because in the past life your lessons had to do or your karma was about resistance and letting go you don't even know that you're just really chopping down rebuilding and restructuring you know really just literally killing shit on your path and I feel like a lot of you all really need to step back during this time and really kind of be in this in this space of recognition recognition and really patting yourself on the motherfucking back because if you ain't learned nothing else through these trying times you've learned how to be your own best friend and your own star player and you definitely should have learned how many people around you will ridicule you for your damn ideas talk way low at you then it's real funny how you see the motherfuckers resurface again so there's a need for you to zip it what did you learn don't tell nobody your ideas during this time okay because there is an energy of you all that is some y'all are going to be um in this space of really kind of like like clearing that shit out it's kind of like the uh mm, kind of like just a little just a ski taste mode of the clearing that's going on during this time some of you guys are healing from some type of mother issue okay some having to do with like around acceptance some of you guys are tied to a mother figure this could be an aunt grandma sister um what may have you this could even be the mother of your children i feel like some of y'all have someone very negative in your energy and for some of you all you're coming to some type of clarity or recognition uh, recognition recognition or recognition during this time is that is that a fucking word if not i'm sorry google we gonna add that shit to the to the make a word list i remember i got my ass whooped one time because my mama, y'all, I have a Gemini mother. And I've always made words my entire life. Like, if you know me personally, then you know I'll be like, that what you call, that what you call it. And you got to use context clues because of what you call it can be whatever the fuck ever. You just got to use context clues. What the hell was I just talking about? Okay? And so, yeah, we all laugh. But my mama had me, she gave me a list one time, y'all. This is completely off subject, and I'm sorry. But I, you guys are Aquarius. Y'all my babies. Y'all love story time. Damn it. Y'all got some of the best stories. All right. You guys, I remember I got my ass beat because my mama gave me a list and she was like, I want you to look up box to finna ain't. And y'all, y'all know damn well I was not going to find that in Miriam Webster. She knew that shit before she had me look at it. But you, the Aries in me, bet y'all better know I gave her a definition and a sentence for every damn word before getting my ass whooped. Okay. But I definitely told her finna about to getting ready to okay and so with this recognition this is y'all y'all coming to recognition okay of the fact that someone people or some of the people who you had to cut out some of you guys may be reconciling for short periods just to find out you know what this person you know you never really realized before they talk about their childhood a lot some of y'all are having some of y'all are releasing um people and even and i'm feeling for some of y'all i'm here in temporary for some of you all this is a karmic partner but this person in yourself you're kind of coming to clarity how you guys and what aspect did you mirror one another to understand the to understand the connection to really understand and acknowledge what it is that still needs to be here healed okay so that's what i'm feeling as far as like the little ski taste you know of healing all right but a lot of you all are being aligned for a union, okay? But this is happening after you found, actually, uh, after you've come 
to union within the self, a balancing and the centering of the masculine and the feminine aspects that lives all of us within self, okay? Some of you all, there's a need for you all to really, really um, exercise your throat chakra. For some of you all, you have this all knowing, but there is a confident issue as to where why you cannot share the information in which you know. Some of y'all are light workers. I'm also hearing medicine woman very strongly. Spirit is on a few of y'all heads right now about herbs, holistics, helping other people in your life purpose around um growth and ascension baby for some of you all some y'all may be in a place of um like you may randomly have an idea decide you want to be gardening or you want to uh, go into like holistic practices that's not coming from nowhere baby listen to your soul because again i feel like that teaching and learning has to do with innovation ultimately whoever, whomever i'm speaking to a year from now baby you are going to have possibly either your own type of your own type of office setup or your own type of setup around teaching other individuals who will impact other individuals. It's like a pay it forward act, baby. We're gonna talk about you forever. It's time for your name to be wrote in that history book. You gonna let you gonna let shit that you went through in your past prevent you from being your greatest self in the future? Fuck no. We're gonna keep it moving. We're gonna get up off, we're gonna jump up off the curb and jump up off the porch with our chest out. You understand? All right? For some of you all. <clears throat> Some of you guys are um, actually, um, some of y'all could also be energy healers. And some of you guys are assisting others in learning um, how to like align the chakras. Or if you've been thinking about sharing that information, Spirit is saying, go for it, baby. This is where your innovation, you are the create, <coughs> excuse me, you are the creator um, of your own destiny. Okay. And for some of you all, again, some of y'all have a lot of clarity coming. Some of you all could also be having dreams kind of back and forth. It's kind of like you're kind of going back and forth or transgression, transgressing between this life and, and a past life. And it has to do with direction of knowing, of pretty much knowing which way to move its next, okay? And for some of you all, you're kind of getting confirmations that you are hurtling and knocking out your damn shit from past life and this life. So congratulations, Aquarius. You passed the motherfucking test. It's graduation time. Hats out to you, family. Come on. Shout out to an aqua baby. Damn it. All right. But for some of you all, some of y'all may also be receiving some type of jewelry from an ancestor of yours. This is going to bring you abundance. OK, whomever this uh, whoever is receiving this jewelry, this could have to have to do with the wheel. I'm hearing wheel or inheritance or something of like that. Someone could be finding out that there is some type of jewelry and some type of deposit box for them. That jewelry is y'all. That jewelry is very precious. It is actually kind of like artifactual. That's another word we just made up. Um, artifactual. OK, but I feel like it's not so much your ancestors whomever i'm connecting with with this thank you and whew. hold on y'all whomever i'm connecting with because your ancestors came through very 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 strongly and i ain't like it they were some boss hoggers whomever i'm connected with you have ancestry that were um I'm going to go and say it. Your ancestry was some robes, okay? They were some damn, they, they, they got it how they live. I don't, the word that I'm looking for, I don't want to say, um, y'all, they stole some, some, they stole from, from, from them. I, my vocabulary is off, but they stole from, from place to place to place to place to place. And this particular jewelry, first off, it has some type of pearl attached to it for some of you. For some of you, there is some type of locket. That is within this jury, okay? The people in the locket, you're not going to know them damn people, y'all. But them people were, um, was it heist men? Were um, kind of like how Christopher Columbus came to America and stole that shit. But they say he just stepped them type people. They they came, they went stealing people, stealing shit, okay? Um, however, they actually attained uh, the wealth that they was trying to build, but they put it in different spaces, okay? And for some of you all, this is connected to some form of a grandfather, all right, and the grandfather knew that them people used to fucking steal, so he put the shit in the deposit box, and you're going to be finding out that it's coming to you during this time. However, um, I am feeling that for some of you all, who, if you're going to wear this jewelry, um, it's something about using it to manifest. You do do better if you use it to manifest under new moon and full moon cycles, okay? Uh, some of you guys, some of y'all really need to heal your inner child. I hate to have these conversations. Some of you guys may be... Um, in this space, for those of you who are a victim of sexual abuse, spirit want me to go here. There's a need for you to truly forgive because it's preventing you from allowing people to love you. And I feel like for some of you all, you've been pushing off your life partner because ultimately you don't trust the opposite sex. And for some of you all, this has to do with your children. Um, 
some of you guys are very, 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 you're going to, you're needing to like loosen the reins on your children uh, based off of what you went through. And I feel like it was something that just came out of nowhere um, that was very sporadic and maybe your children and your family are not understanding what what kind of triggered this, you know, but this could even be something that you could have watched on TV or something that you could have been watching that you'd be watching during this time, a, a story that you'll hear, but it's going to trigger something that you still need to deal with, baby. If you tell the story, if you cry when you tell the story, it still means you got work to do, okay? All right, so let's get into this love sector. And I have to pull out the old school, baby. Y'all know I started doing tarot with these cards. <laughs> the old school, babies. And they had to have to buy me some more because my original was raggedy, but yes. By that time, I actually started going and um, updating, getting new cards, all right? So, Spirit, show me what it is I need to see in love for my beautiful Aquarians for the end of April. What messages in love do you have for me? The moon rises in the test with the cross watch. I'm a part time cross watcher for the sign of Aquarius. <laughs> For the last of April, what messages do you have for my experience? Come on, let them fall. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so some of you guys, again, at the base, moving forward, okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with a cancer, and some of you guys could be speaking your truth, letting somebody know, look, I'm not going to be your damn girlfriend for 16 years. Who the fuck do you think you are? No. Either you're going to either you're gonna put a ring on it, or I'm going to have to, you're going to get right or get left. What we going to do, okay? Because I love you, but I love me more, and I'm not going to allow you to stream me along, okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Taurus, okay? And some of y'all could be dealing with the cancer, but I definitely see movement forward. And some of you guys be, again, asking someone during this time, what are we doing? Some of y'all could be dealing with an earth sign. I feel like you're in this place of, you know, I put in all this effort, pretty much looking at what you put into it, Capricorn, towards Virgo. And for some of you all, you're looking at it like, shit, is it even worth it? Some of you guys who have been waiting to hear about a actual move, a move to another home, it does look successful. You will be hearing from that, okay? For some of you all, you were afraid that you weren't going to be, able, that you weren't independent enough, that maybe you couldn't stand on your own too, or maybe you needed someone. Or for those of you who have been just really tired of a relationship, you're going to throw in the damn towel during this time, and I do see it bringing balance to your life, but you have to believe that, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with a physical move, and I feel like this was for someone who was tied to someone else with assets, okay? I definitely feel like there's this confidence that's raining on Aquarius. It's like, you know what, bitch? I could do bad by myself, and if I never gave myself that I've never gave, given myself that option to even know that much because some of y'all have been in relationships for so long that you don't even know how to be by yourself. So I do see this sense of independence. Some of y'all are freeing yourself and moving away from another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or towards this person after moving away from an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of cancer that could just be wanting to break free and be by themselves during this time. And some of y'all, it's just really about you freeing this person because whomever this person is, they have a lack mentality, okay? Yeah, but I definitely see some of y'all leaving somebody out in the cold. And in doing so, you're going to actually free up your money. Because let me tell you something. If you don't know if you're dealing with a karmic person or a partner that's a karmic partner, first and foremost, look to your money. If you are abundant before someone comes in your life and then they come in your life and shit start falling all over the place, chances are there's a lesson for them, a lesson in being with that person. You may not are supposed to be, you may or you are may not, you're not supposed to be with that person. Chances are forever. Ask God, spirit, Gaia, um, mother, universe, whoever you connect to, source. Your spirit guides, your angels, your archangels. Ask for synchronicities to show you these things. I remember I was trying to break up with somebody. I asked, I asked, I asked the father. I said, Father, Most High God, if it was meant for you to, if it's meant for me to leave this person, okay? Please show me a damn frog cross. Now, y'all, I left the damn massage parlor. As soon as I left out the door, I hardly ever see frogs. And I purposely ask for shit that I don't see every day. I hardly ever see it. Baby, you, I'll be damned if a damn frog didn't just cross right over my damn. Guess what I did? <laughs> I stayed. I was like, okay, well, let me ask you again. Let me let me ask for some white birds. I got them. Let me ask you for a rabbit. I got it. I stayed. I ended up in the damn county jail late for y'all damn video in the month of, uh, what was that, January, February. So listen, I say that to say this. When spirit shows you something, Believe it the first time because it'll only hurt you the second time or the third time or the fourth time if you choose to stay in situations that don't feel right. If it don't feel right, it's for a reason. And if you know you haven't learned to trust anything else, baby, remember that, okay? 
Because some of y'all, y'all leaving somebody for half-assed love. This could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. Some of you guys are leaving someone behind and wanting to give somebody else your cup, okay? Some of you guys are possibly moving towards an air sign. Some of y'all are moving towards a Cancer. Some of y'all is finna throw the damn towel in with a Taurus because look here, I don't know what you got going on. I don't know who you think gonna stay here and be your girlfriend for 23 years. I, I don't got, I'm not the jump man. I, I don't got time to be in that same position for, for 23. You're not me. The fuck? <laughs> Come on, Corey, it's expecting love. Yeah. And for some of you all, yeah, judgment. Okay. Judgment. Some of you guys during this time are going to be making a judgment call regarding half-assed love. I'm not going to allow myself to continue to accept the little bit that you give me when I know you can give me more. It's just it's a free will choice that you're making to give me because I've allowed that this far. Let me switch the game up. I told y'all change is good. You fix signs going through change. So if you've been doing the same shit, okay, what can you do differently? You can't keep doing the same shit and expecting something different. What can you do differently? You can't control other people. I can act accordingly, though, and mean what you say and say what you mean, Aquarius. I ain't got to tell y'all that. Y'all live by that shit. <laughs> Man, what's the outcome? What's the outcome in love? What's the outcome in love? Yeah. Dropping the burden. Some of y'all could be dropping the burden. Some of y'all could actually be married to a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. You're over it. I definitely feel like for some of y'all, some of y'all, some of y'all could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, and I feel like you want commitment from this person. You've done everything that you could do to show that this person that, hey, I'm your person. I'm it. I'm it. You've only done, only thing that you've wanted was this person to see you. The spirit is saying you fucked up because the only thing you needed was to validate yourself. You don't need anybody to validate you. So there's this recognition. Can't make that word again. There's this recognition during this time, you know, that happens within you. You know, that just, it's like one day that, like, you know, in the Bible, it said that very moment they were all changed. Aquarius just woke up, changed. I'm not with the shits, okay? And for some of you all, someone could possibly be telling you that they're going to be leaving a commitment to move towards you, okay? And for some of you all, you could have actually had to stand your ground and leave this person to let them know I'm not going to be an option. And you're going to get what you want. For some of you all, be careful because some of y'all could want to reconnect or um, reconcile in a family situation, possibly with the fire sign, every Leo Sagittarius, but this person, okay, they may come and say all the right shit. But at the end of the day, this person is still being a bit deceitful with this damn Knight of Rods and this Seven of Swords energy, okay? And some of y'all are freeing yourself from a relationship where you're dealing with a motherfucker who just completely, I'm done. I'm done. If you want, if you like grass and you like cake, motherfucker, I like cake too. I like cake and ice cream. If you're going to go out here and do what you do, give me a, tag me in. Tag me in or release me because I'm not with the shits. In fact, I'll release myself. Okay, some of y'all are going to be walking away, moving forward away from a deceitful air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. For some of y'all, you could be finding out that this person gave, and I don't know where it's coming from, but it's coming, it's showing up. Some of y'all, if you're dealing with an earth sign or air sign, some of y'all could be finding out that this person have been sharing their money outside with 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 uh with people outside of your home. Like you ain't just cheating, but you out here finding motherfuckers too, for real. Okay, for some of you all. Some of y'all, you're dealing with someone who has to close out some type of family cycle or close out some type of uh, poverty, like poverty mindset cycle. Someone wants to commit to you. However, they just feel like they they missing out on something in the streets. OK, <coughs> that could be connected to those of you who are dealing with the sign of Sagittarius. That can also be connected to you who are dealing with the sign of cancer. And if you're dealing with a tourist, this person could actually be releasing some releasing some childhood wounds as well as trust issues because for some of y'all you're dealing with a person who just live in a place of fear and lack you know instead of thinking about how things can go good the only thing they're thinking about is what could go bad and so shit goes bad and then they just like well what happened i don't understand why that happened well motherfucker only thing you think about is negative stuff you manifested that okay yeah 
some of y'all are making a judgment about a third-party situation that possibly could include a child, okay? For some of you guys, I'm hearing the number 8. For some of you guys, I'm hearing the number 9. For some of you guys, I'm hearing the number 12. For some of you guys, I'm hearing the number 14. So this could be you committed to someone for this long and you're finding out that there's some type of outside child and you need to make a judgment call on what you want to do. Do I want to continue working on this relationship or do I want to actually move forward, okay? Some of y'all could actually just be focusing on your money or actually reconciling uh, possibly with the Leo, okay, or a Virgo. Um, or possibly a Scorpio that you have children with, okay? So this is what I have for my Aquariuses for the last half of April. You guys let me know how this resonates, you guys. I love you all so, so, so very much. I send you all peace, blessings, all your manifestations and all your desires. May they come true and may they just fall in your lap because you fucking deserve it. Y'all, congratulations. Y'all made it, all right? If you if you get the feeling negative about well how come they didn't mm, you know why because we don't vibe the same that's why I didn't get you in fact I, they didn't choose they did not choose me I chose to keep it fucking moving because they chose to stay down here and since I'm praying up here I understand that I gotta sacrifice some down here ass shit to keep moving progression movement forward that is the focus okay all right family I see y'all later. See you guys for March generals and hopefully March for May generals and hopefully I can go live and Jupiter fuck with the kid like that. All right. <laughs> Bye y'all. Namaste. Love y'all.